Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're out here on Parque Fernando and we're going to be doing the Collared Peccary Guide or the Javelina Guide as most people would call it. But they drink here on Parque Fernando from 0 hundred hours to 3 in the morning. As you can see I think right over here we have a zone. There's one right there. 0 hundred hours to 3 in the morning. They are a class 4 animal so that's going to give you quite a few different options on the guns you could use. Today we have with us the 303, the M1, the Mommer 7mm, and the Zarza 308. So all four of these guns are fantastic. As long as it covers class 4, you are good to go. And since they are such a small animal, they're pretty much going to drop from any gun really. Max level is 5 medium. Max weight is 31 kg. Silver is 37.5. Gold is 98.5. And diamond is 144.2. Common fur types are brown, dark brown, dark gray and gray and rare fur types are albino melanistic ochre and leucistic and then you can use the predator jackrabbit collar the wild war collar and the wild boar scent to lure them in but that pretty much does it for the information so let's go ahead and jump right in let's go take down some javelinas we're going to be starting things off at this lake right here it's at the bottom right hand corner of the map it's a pretty good one for the javelinas we have a lot of small males though um let's go ahead and take a look at some of them we have a level one right there 15 to 45 for his estimates that one's a level 3 77 to 107 another level one male 17 to 48 so when i came over here last night and saw this zone i saw the level one and i was going to take him down and then i ended up seeing two more level ones so i felt it wasn't that special once i saw the other two that's a level 1 female, that's a level 2 female, there's another level 3 male, 68 to 98. Where's the other level 1? He might be like right there. Um, Yeah, there he is right there actually, 15 to 46. So we have some level 1s here and then we have these um level 3s and stuff, 79 to 110. So I think we'll just go for that guy right there. He's giving us the overall best shot as long as that level 1 doesn't step in his way and he's not going to. So let's go ahead and get the 303 out and let's take him down here. So we'll put the night vision scope on and everything can't spot him over there i can just barely see his outline we'll just take that shot definitely hit him and he is on the ground he it just folded over immediately so it was a good shot we already had some hunting pressure over here from a previous hunt so we don't want to shoot anymore or anything like that so we don't delete the zones but the um collared peccary they pretty much drink everywhere i even found some over here on the coast like in this area didn't really find any down here in the bottom of the top but there are some right here there were a few lakes I didn't find them at, so I'll probably leave those open and won't mark them on the map guide just so you can kind of see that. But you still might check them because there might be some zones there that I just missed. They didn't come into their zones or whatever. Sometimes that does happen. But for the most part, I found them pretty much everywhere. So let's get over here and let's pick this guy up. And we have one fleeing right now. That's actually one of the level ones. 15 to 45. So yeah, that's one of those. Let's see. Do we have a zone right over here? I know we have one back behind us, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they ended up spooking after we shot though, but I think there was one somewhere back there behind me. So here he is right here. Did we get the vital blood? Not seeing it there, so that's not a good sign. I don't see the vital blood. Don't, oh, there it is right there. It just popped up. So we did get a good shot on him. He's going to be a silver at 85.94 directly into the left lung and the right lung. So that was fantastic. These guys are very small, so it's very hard to hit, try and hit them in the lung sometimes. You have to be pretty precise with it. But 183 meters away, very good shot on this guy. So let's go ahead and go on to another lake. So now we're here in the bottom left hand corner of the map at this lake right here. It's another pretty good one. We've got a few level 3s up ahead if we can go ahead and spot them. This one is a 71 to 102. That's a level 2 female. Another level 3 male, 78 to 109. And I think there is a third one somewhere over here. We'll just spot through all these females. And there he is right there. 67 to 97. So he's not the biggest ever. We're probably going to go ahead and take down, I guess, that one right there since he has the better top end estimate. Um, yeah, he's probably the best one overall to take down. So we're going to go ahead and get the M1 out. And we're going to go ahead and get him here. And yeah, let's go ahead and put the night vision scope on really quickly. We really don't need it, honestly. We'll go ahead and throw it on anyway. Let's take that shot there. And it is going to be fantastic. Probably could have got that one, but I don't think I'm going to try and go for a second shot in any earth like that. We're just going to go for one at a time. So let's get over here and let's get this one. Unfortunately, it looks like we didn't get a good shot on this guy. As you can see, there's no vital blood. It's just a very small blood splatter. So I'm kind of curious to see what ended up happening with this guy. So let's pick him up. He's going to be a bronze at 98.06. So he's very close to being a gold, 98.50. But we did mess him up. We got him in the flesh there. and We just shot way far forward. Didn't even realize I did that, honestly. I'll have to look back and actually watch this to see what ended up happening. But it looked like it was a good shot to me. But I could have pulled it just a little bit to the right. When I ended up pulling the trigger, sometimes that does happen. But 111 meters for the distance, it's not very far either. We were just right there on him. Really don't know what happened with that one. 
But yeah, overall, he's a big one. Had we got a good shot on him, so we're going to go ahead and move on to another spot. I think I'm going to go down here to this, like, in the very bottom left-hand corner of the map. It's a really good one for a lot of different species, and there's a lot of collared peccary down here. And then after that, we're probably going to head to this um, zone right here specifically. I'd went up there, but a puma spooked him off, so I'm going to have to reset the time and everything like that to get them back in their zone. But we are going to check that one out because it has some level 4s in it. So let's go ahead and head down here to this one. We are now here at that lake at the bottom left hand corner of the map and I actually came around the back side here so I came around the front side the first time and the wind was absolutely terrible and it ended up spooking them off so I got a four wheeler and came through here and then got off over here somewhere in this area and just walked down and now the wind is fantastic. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. We don't have like many big males. There's a level three in here that's pretty good. Level two male there 43 to 74. Let's see if we can spot that one there. In between the two it's not wanting us to not wanting us to spot him. But that one's a level 3, 86 to 117. So this is our best one that I've seen so far over here. Don't think there's too many others. Level 2 male, once again, 58 to 89. Level 3 male, 76 to 106. So we have some options, not the biggest ones ever. I think we will focus on that one right there if we can. So what is he right now? He's about 150 meters, 200 meters out, I'd say. 196, so he's about 200 out. So I'd like to get his attention there. Not really giving us the best of shots at the moment, so if we can get him to like kind of not like spook or anything, but just um go alert and whatnot, that would be fantastic. And we always go for like that one right there if we need to. He's giving us a really good shot. Would just would really like to get the biggest one first. So he is attentive right now. Should start to go alert pretty soon, I would say. Like I said, the wind is really good, so they might not go alert as fast as they normally would. Um, let's, let's see, what's he doing? He's still attentive there. Let's go ahead and get the gun out. He is going to go alert as I say that. and looks like he's going to be about the same. He's not really broadside or anything like that. Would love to get into the lungs here. And there he goes right there. That was a bit high for sure. I saw that. I shot as he turned right there. Hopefully it's into the lungs. We definitely dropped him. So more than likely it's going to be like thoracic vertebrae or something like that, unfortunately. But yeah, hopefully it's not. So let's go ahead and just auto run really quickly. So like I said, we are going to head over here to this lake. I'm here to end, kind of wrap things up. It's going to be this zone right here. Really good when it has a couple level fours in it. So I want to save that one for last. And then just overall, these bottom lakes here are my favorite to hunt. That's why I've kind of stayed down here for most of the hunts today. And we did get a bottle of blood. So I guess it was a good shot. I still think it's going to be a little bit high, but let's pick him up, and he will be a silver at 92.31. Got him in the right lung, the left lung, and the liver, and the stomach, so pretty much everything. I thought it was going to be high, but it was just directly into everything, so that's probably our best shot of the day, I would say, at 121 meters on this guy right here. So let's go ahead and head to that last zone. So a slight change of plans here. For whatever reason, I cannot get these javelina in their zone at this lake. I think it is because of the puma. Like I said earlier, when I tried to go over there the first time, I did have problems with that. He spooked them off. So I do think that is the problem again. And I went over there twice and just could not get them over there. And each time I did hear the puma mating call. So we're going to be checking out this zone right here at this lake, still at the bottom left hand corner of the map. We actually have a really decent level 3 here, 92 to 122. There's a couple other level 3s in here, not so good really on their estimates, but that one it does seem to be the best. There's another one, 80 to 111, he's not too bad. And I think there's one more, and there he is, 47 to 78, so he is very small. So let's go ahead and try and get him. Of course it's going to pull the camera out as I try to spot. I really do hate that when it happens. Let's go ahead and try and get this guy. We're probably going to have to get him to go alert because he right now is not giving us a very good shot. So let's just stand up and try to get him to kind of go broadside or at least start facing us so that we can get a decent shot on him. We'll go to the left just a bit here and there he goes right there. He's going to be moving a little bit. Um, let's take that right there and that'll be fantastic. Should be a double long shot. So let's go get him and wrap things up from there. We did in fact get the vital blood, so let's pick him up and see what we ended up hitting. He's going to be another silver at 96.97, so at the bottom end of his estimates there, but did get him in the double lung, kind of like I thought we did. A little bit far forward on that one at 74 meters, but double lung, you really can't ask for a whole lot better than that. But I guess that's pretty much going to do it here for this video. Didn't really find too many big males. Like I said, I wanted to take down them level fours, but they just would not come into their zone, so that was very unfortunate. But like I said, they're pretty much going to be drinking everywhere. The bottom half of the map is my favorite, so let's go ahead and jump into the map guide and we'll talk about that just a little bit more. Here's the Parque Fernando Collared Peccary map guide, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So like I said in the video, they're pretty much going to drink everywhere. You're even going to find some zones over there on the east coast. There were some lakes that I didn't find any zones, but maybe they just weren't at their zones at the time or whatever. Sometimes that does happen, but I left those lakes unmarked. There was only a few of them anyway. You have plenty of other options, though, to choose from. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it here for this guide. I really do hope it was helpful. And if it was, remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.